Williamsport. That's where Mike Godfrey, Emma Boyer, and Little Otto live. But they're flying from Harrisburg. The reason? The direct flight from here to Myrtle Beach. And I'm sure the price didn't hurt either. Yeah, it was like 70 bucks. It's cheap, it's easy. It's an hour and 45 minutes, and you're there. Cheap nonstop flights to beaches on airlines like Allegiant and Frontier, flights on airlines like United, Delta, and American to places like Charlotte, Chicago, and Atlanta. Is that all you really need for an airport to be successful? I think that's the right takeaway, Seth. That's William Swellbart, an industry analyst who put out this report showing mid-sized Harrisburg as a relative winner compared to smaller airports within driving distance like Hagerstown State College and Williamsport. At places like those? I mean, there are so many communities out there that are now down to two uh, network carrier flights, American Delta United, to their hubs twice a day. A particular problem for business travelers who could be out of luck when one of the few flights cancels. After missing so many meetings, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to book a service from a larger airport that can reaccommodate me in the event of a cancellation. We haven't lost services like others in Pennsylvania have. I don't expect to. Still, says HIA spokesman Scott Miller. But growing is going to be slower than we want, but it is going to happen. I just can't tell you exactly when. The reason for that? Uh, planes are packed. And as long as that continues... You know, this, it's going to put pressure on the airline system to find pilots, to find planes. That's expensive. And yes, you guessed it. The consumers will pay that bill for some time. We're still going to be a couple, two, three years before we really start to see some dynamic price competition. It's a marathon process, not a sprint. But um, we keep pushing and, and we're grateful for the people supporting the service we do have, even though everyone wants more. At HIA, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.